we had half the crowd still trying to get up on the track for fan appreciation night and we had it for an hour or so for you know for the fans to come down there and there were still people up in the stands trying to get on the track that's how packed this place is that's how amazing you know with what the racing is up there right now with you know with the drivers and everything else and the promotion um you know it's uh, people love coming there and it's only going to get bigger and bigger this year is going to be i mean you talk about the excitement for 2016 i we were up there for the work day and people are coming up and we even have fans that were coming out to the work day we're like man we, we, we want to be a part of this well and that's you what know? i'm saying that that community really backs up that racetrack i mean they they it's it's <laughs> It's next to a neighborhood. I hope they back right? it up. You right? Know? I mean, <laughs> right next to the right next to the highway yeah. and everything else too. It, it's so, a cool yeah. deal, though. But it's neat to see that racetrack uh, grow the way that it has, and it's been a, it's been a big, big effort to do it and a lot of hard work. But they're they're seeing the payoff up north up we, there at Sunset. And, yeah, and the, and the crew there works. I mean, they're not just a crew. They're not just you know employees. They're actually family. Everybody talks with each other. Everybody shares their input and makes it that way. Makes it that great. And I'm just I'm just privileged one to be a part of that, uh, to be able to uh, come in and be a part of, you know, what's going on there, you know, and, and have open arms and, and, and have congratulations. Say, hey, thank you for coming. You know, thank you for being part of our family. And that was one thing that it really made me feel good about going up there last season was uh, just the fans really welcome you in. Um, it was it was it was a neat deal. Yeah. Very, very hometown, very, I mean, family-oriented. Way back. Feel. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. But uh, so we're, we're trying right now to uh, to get Ben Death. Well, we just missed his call, but uh, <laughs> sorry for the pause. Ben, I know. Hold on a second, buddy. He's, uh, he's gosh. listening right now on speaker radio. It's been... Uh, uh, <laughs> and so he's actually yeah he's got the he's got the text to call he's uh he's working really really hard down there he's doing a lot of projects and stuff getting ready for the season their season of course starts um you know here in a couple weeks they uh they had their first practice too uh chris frisbee one of the one of the big sponsors up there for the uh sport mods went down there and practiced his new car uh said that it went really really well he went out there and you know, shook the car down half a dozen laps or whatever. Was very, very pleased with what he had. Uh, can't wait to go. Can't wait for the season opener up here at Sunset. Uh, and, and then you know, be part of that whole group. Uh, I mean, he says he's ready to travel. He says he's ready to go racing. He's ready to you know, rub some fenders and 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 have a good time. And that and that's a cool thing. I think a lot of people are talking about this year is just having a good time. How that 2016 season has that vibe of just going out there and having a good time. Mm-hmm. You know, instead of just having, oh, well, hey, let's, let's go race again. You know, everybody's kind of got their schedule set uh, and, and are excited, ready to go. Oh, next cool thing, too, this kind of on a side note, uh, we have a new driver in a late model class that hasn't been in a car for a while, and that's Mr. Scott Weinbarger, the Superman <laughs> dad himself, went up there to Yakima. He said he had a really good time. He uh, had made the comment about how, you know, he wasn't really sure if the if the bugs are... Uh, anything were uh, you know out yet, or still had some of the spider webs and all. I'll tell you what, that man got back in that car and wheeled that car like like he got out of it yesterday. Um, was very uh, was very focused. You know, I think he's excited for the 2016 season too. So oh, I'm excited. I know that. Uh... <laughs> I can't wait to see him too. He's just I'm gonna go up there here uh, this week and and look at you know what their program was. Uh, Gray with the 13V car. Um, he sat there and went up there with his brand new car too. Kind of gotten a little fender bender. Uh, had half of the rear end stuff ripped out of the car, basically on the whole right side. Um, but you know they put it back together uh, and got everything going, and, and I think did okay for uh, the next night. I haven't talked to them yet, but that seems to be a plan too. So, so we're trying to get a hold of uh, Mr. Deathridge here. Sorry for the. We've got it figured out. We had a. <laughs> Sorry for the little technical kinda, difficulty right? there. <laughs> so we yeah, we'll have Ben live here in just a few moments, race fans. For you that are tuning in, listening, um, but make sure too. I mean, you know, we have that email address. You know, moxymedia2016 at gmail dot com. You know, if you have any questions or whatever. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to break in, but yeah, Moxie Mule. <laughs> no, you're good. Ben, hang on. We got you on the line, but uh, yeah, go ahead and talk about the Moxie, email, uh, Moxie Media Gmail, and <laughs> let's give them the number to call in and ask questions. Again, that number will be 541-991-2838. You guys want to talk about something, give us a call. We'll put you on the air. We'll talk racing. You got questions we can answer. We'll, we'll do it. But uh, right now, we're going to welcome on to the Moxie line, Ben Dethridge, your announcer at Cottage Grove Speedway. Ben, are you there? Yep, right here. 
Great. How's your day going, bud? Uh, it's been it's been busy. Uh, been uh, texting and calling and emailing some business clients all over the place. It sounds a lot like us up here. <laughs> get things all ready for uh, for this weekend. Right, right. Uh, now let's talk about this weekend. Uh, Cottage Grove opens up their season. Uh, you guys got something special going on the first night down there, I understand. Yeah, uh, it's, it's going to be a great night of racing. Um, 1956 is the first year that Cottage Cove opened, and so we're celebrating you know, the, the Diamond anniversary, I guess you could say, the Diamond Jubilee with uh, season opener this Saturday, and we're letting the first 60 people in through the front, front gate in for free. So uh, really good deal. Man, that is awesome. So some big anniversaries up and down the uh, the Northwest uh, race scene with, with Sunset opening their 30th and Willamette with their 50th. I mean, let's, let's kind of talk about, you know, you're, you're like the unofficial historian down there. But before we get into that, let's kind of talk about Cottage Grove. A lot of change down there. I know we've got some, uh, it's been leased and Heather's taking it over. And I know you kind of got some inside scoop on that. Let's talk a little bit about that and uh, what's going on. Well, it's. You could say changes, but not, I mean, you know, from the outside looking in, not, I mean, it, it, it almost seems as if it's the same. Um, pretty much, I mean, the same people are pretty much there. Um, what's kind of happened is uh, Heather's leased the track, and uh, so she's running it, um, you know, kind of under the advisory of Brian Crockett. He's helping her out. He managed Cottage Grove for, um, you know, quite a few years, and he, you know, he'll be back doing the track prep, so, yes, technically some changes, um, but not, I mean, you know, for, for somebody that's, you know, normally goes there, in fact, this weekend at, at play day, it was just almost status quo, um, so, uh, I, I think it'll be a good year, I mean, um, it, it, it there's, there's some new things, of course, uh, we're going to be having some fast Fridays uh, that they added, which are going to be good. And we're still kind of working on a plan for tumult and those, but I think race fans will really want to attend those events. And, um, you know, the race in the Cottage Grove, it, it's, you know, week in, week out, really good. So. so when you had practice and stuff on Saturday, uh, did you have a chance to be able to talk to some of the drivers down there? And did you get, like, a vibe on how they – you know, looked at 2016 season for, you know, the new Cottage Grove on the new management and everything down there? Um, like I said, I mean, everybody was, was, I mean, I'd say everybody was happy, but, you know, kind of like I said, it, you know, Heather's managed the track since 2013, so it's not like there's a new face that came in and, oh my gosh, how we're going to work with this and stuff. I think that, um, um, but, you know, just, just as the Cottage Grove Speedway, you know, whether it be working there for the last uh, over 10 years or, or just going there my whole life, everybody's pretty open for change and pretty laid back and stuff anyway. So even if it was somebody new, they, they kind of just go with the flow. Well, and that, that's to have you back at Cottage Grove on the mic for those fans is, is, is a special thing because, you know, you're like we talked about, you're, you're kind of the unofficial, between you and your dad, the unofficial historian of that racetrack. <laughs> you guys are, you know, you really know what's going on down there. And, you know, a lot of rumors I heard over the winter with you, you're going to be announcing at a different racetrack or Ben's going here, Ben's going there. No, folks, he's back at Cottage Grove. He's going to be there for you. And uh, are, you, are you glad to be back? I mean, to know that you're going to be there and, and it's your deal again. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I never, I never really left, left Cottage Grove except for, you know, 2012 when I was at Willamette for the most part. Um, there are some shows that I'm probably going to be traveling to, um, doing some special events, but yeah, for the most part, you know, just being at Cottage Grove, you know, it, it, it's not really, I, I mean, it, it, it is the hallway from home, but it's almost like an extension of my own house. It's just that. It, there's a bit of space between you know my front porch and, and the front <laughs> gate. Uh, right, right. That seems to be that seems to be all three of us. It's kind of the feel, yeah. yeah. You you live so close to uh, you know Cottage Grove. Corey, of course, lives pretty close to Willamette Speedway, and I'm just 40 minutes away from Sunset. So I think this year, the 2016 season, you know, everybody. Um, I don't know if you had an opportunity and stuff to you know 
come up to the car show. I think you're pretty busy down there trying to get all your stuff done. But everybody's so excited just for how everything's turning out um, for the 2016 season. All three tracks, Cottage Grove, Willamette Speedway, Sunset Speedway Park. I, I think it's going to be a good thing for everybody to have all three of us there that have that background and knowledge of those tracks. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'd agree with that statement. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't make it to the car show. I was uh, working on that, but um, yeah, it, it, I mean, and that's the thing is, is, is excitement is a big key. I mean, the first race, uh, the first race is everything. Whether you're a, a race fan, whether you're a, a race car driver, a team owner, uh, or you work at the racetrack, if the first if the first race kind of feels like you tripped at the starting line, then you're <laughs> playing catch up kind of the rest of the year. But if it goes, you know, if you have a huge, you know, not really grand slam home run, but just a home run in general, or you do really well, I mean, it, it sets the tone and you can carry that momentum. But you know, like I said, it, it starts out rough. You know, oh man, the weather's not cooperating. Oh, we barely got it in. Or, oh, the, you know, it's just too cold. It, 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 it can be a roller coaster ride, but you know, uh, it's, it's it's where we live, and and it's the game we play. So. Right, and that's the biggest thing right now is watching the weather for that first race that we're we're talking about now. I know we were talking about the weather for, for Willamette and, uh, on the 16th. Right now it's showing a 57% chance of rain in, in Oregon. That might as well be 100% at this point. But, um, you know, we'll be watching that very close, and I'm sure if, if things are looking pretty good, Josh and I might stop in just to, just to you know, make a visit to Cottage Grove and say hi and, and you know, get a little shot of the smell of the fuel and see some dirt fly. But uh, excited. What, what, what are you looking forward to most in, in, for the 2016 season with yourself, Ben? Um, you know, I, I'm just looking forward really just to go in that journey. I mean, um, I, I think, I think this year is going to be real. I think, you know, in general, the, the Northwest is in some pretty good shape this year. Um, you know, Southern Oregon Speedway is kind of having a rebirth, or you could say a bit of a renaissance down there with Mike McCann and Don Martin. Um, really helping out um, down there. So, I mean, I think you know, Northwest as a whole has is, is got, is got a really good year ahead of it. Well, and I'm glad you said that because we were talking about, you know, the state of racing earlier, just kind of where the Northwest has been and how it's kind of seemed to be, I don't want to say at a lull, but just the excitement hasn't been there the last couple of years. And coming into the 2016 season, it seems like everybody's just got like a, like there's a revival going on and everybody's been, you know, filled with the spirit, but the, the spirit is, you know, methanol and dirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, totally, totally. And, um, you know, uh, the... To me, the off season, it's always, it, you know, it, it, it's like, it, it's like any big event, you know, the, the Super Bowl, the World Series, you know, the uh, Champions League final, whatever it is, there's this build up and this anticipation and, you know, oh man, what's going to happen? Oh, this could happen. Oh man, we're going to have a terrible year because of this. Oh man, we're going to have a great year because of this. But once that first race or those first couple races get off, all of that, goes out the window and you just hold on and um, it, it, it generally works out yeah, hold on is right because that first race there, when we turn it loose and drop that first green flag, it's you know there's the, that that first hit of adrenaline and you know guys are all pumped up. It's, it's like you said, it sets the tone, and I think the Northwest is in for a real special year this year with uh, the state of dirt track racing and what we're looking at. Well, I think I think too is that is that you know a lot of these guys that went to Yakima wanted to kind of get that first race jitters out. Because that's Yakima, that's one time a year, you know, and then at the end of the season they'll go back. You know, so they only run there a couple times, but they'll run Willamette Speedway, Cottage Grove, Sunset, all year long. That's what these guys are doing. But they want to get that first race jitters. I talked to a couple of them when I was up there on, on Sunday, um, uh, or sorry, Saturday, to try to figure out what these guys are doing. And like, exactly that. They're getting that first race jitter out. They're shaking the car back down. They're knowing that, hey, we're not going to go out and we're going to, you know, blow up the world right now, you know, for the first race, but this is going to help us set the car and set the tone for the 2016 season at all three tracks. Yeah, yeah, and I agree with you there. I mean, um, you know, and, and the great thing about Yakima is, like you said, they, they ran last week and they'll run at the end of the 